is 91.9 FM, WLJS Jacksonville, your cure for common radio. Nine minutes, nine minutes past the hour here on 91.9 FM, WLJS Jacksonville. Well, hundreds of people filed inside the Northeast Alabama Institution's multi-purpose Coliseum Easter Sunday as the ladies of JSU's Kappa Beta chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority introduced 32 of its newest members to the world. Parents, friends, students, and other loved ones filled the Pete Matthews Coliseum to take their first look at the newest people now a part of the university's influential African-American Greek community. This new line of members titled the 32 Flames of the Centennial torch was to coincide was to coincide with the african-american based sorority's 100th active year since its founding in 1913 at howard university in washington dc the new members performed many chore- choreograph choreography routines to songs from popular african-american artists such as monica's i will cross the ocean for you one in a million by Aaliyah, bad mama Gemma by carl carlton and Turn On the Lights by Future. Now, disguises were worn by all 32 of the young ladies until midway through the program when they were removed by the older members. Afterwards, they stepped up to the microphone and introduced themselves one by one to the audience in a chant a cappella like manner. Now, according to the sorority's chapter president, Ariah J. Jackson, this is the first time in the history of Jacksonville State University that a fraternity or a sorority has held a new member's presentation. So inside the institution's Coliseum. Now, other members were also other older members of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority were also present uh, during the presentation show. And we have two of those 32 uh, devastating divas of Delta Sigma Theta live here in the WLJS newsroom. Please allow me to introduce Miss Rainey Taylor. Hello, Miss Taylor. Thank you so much. Hey, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. And Miss Chastity Brown. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Two of these ladies had the opportunity to introduce themselves to the world as members of Delta Sigma Theta. And let's, let's kind of, I guess, discuss real quick. 32 obviously represents the new, n- the new number of new members, and the centennial represents the 100 years of the sorority's existence. And there are some very famous Deltas amongst our, uh, our nation and in our nation's history, some that we don't even know of, of people such as uh, Nikki Giovanni, Aretha Franklin, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, and CNN journalist Soledad O'Brien is a member of Delta Sigma Theta, as well as the wife of Malcolm X, Betty Shabazz, Cicely Tyson, and Cosby Show star yeah. Keisha Knight Pulliam. So tell me, what does this mean being a sorority? What does this add to your lives, uh, especially considering that of African-American sororities were developed in a time of racial turmoil in America? What kind of greatness does this bring to the black community? I mean, honestly, it's a bond you really can't describe. I love my sisters, all 31 of them. And um, it's something I think everybody should experience. It's, it's just it's a very strong bond, especially when you go through stuff together. It just makes you very close. And now, uh, Chastity, were your relatives or your loved ones, were they there out there in the audience to support yes, you? They were. My and, mom, my little brother and sister, all of them were out there. And tell me what was that like knowing that your family was out there watching you cross this threshold? It was amazing because actually I am the first person in my family to cross over into Greek. So I'm starting a new tradition. So to be able to start that tradition in my family was like the best feeling in the world. And what was one of the first things that your family members said to the two of you when it was all over, the masks were removed and you were done singing and chanting and doing what it is that you all did? What was the first thing your family said to you? Well, my mom was bawling tears, so she didn't can say a whole lot, but she was just saying how proud she is of her daughter and how, you know, she was really happy that this was all happening. What about you, Rainey? My mom, she basically said the same thing. She was jumping up and down. She was excited. She's been excited. She knew how long I wanted this. So for her to actually see her daughter become a Delta, I know she was excited just as much as I was. 
Well, that's wonderful. Well, ladies, we thank you so much uh, for taking the time to come speak to us uh, here at WLJS News. It is 14 minutes past the hour. Don't go nowhere because two days after 32 women from Jacksonville State University's Delta Sigma Theta sorority chapter made their debut, another African-American organization from the institution presented their new line of members as well. And we will speak to two of those members from that new line when we come back here on WLJS News at 5. We'll be right back. This is 91.9 FM, WLJS Jacksonville, your cure for common radio. Wake and Bake Pizza on the Square in Jacksonville hosts freshly made pizzas and gourmet coffees. Open all throughout the week and into the wee hours in the morning, Wake and Bake is open when you're awake. Dine in, carry out, and catering are all in the mix as well. To find out more, like them on Facebook or call 256 435 9272. Wake and Bake proudly supports WLJS. Support for WLJS is brought to you by Java Jolt on the square in Jacksonville, a proud patron of WLJS, offering a full menu including hot and cold espresso beverages, smoothies, frappes, flavored coffees, baked goods prepared daily, lunches of panini sandwiches, salads and soups, along with live music on Thursdays, free Wi-Fi, and member of the Spot On system. For more information, like them on Facebook or call 256-782-3222. Domino's Pizza off the square in Jacksonville is a proud patron of WLJS. They specialize in pizzas, pastas, specialty desserts, and now pan-made pizzas that boast a crispy, buttery taste. They are open Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. For more information, like them on Facebook at Domino's Pizza Jacksonville or call 256-435-8200. Get the door, it's Domino's. Two days after 32 women from Jacksonville State University's Delta Sigma Theta sorority chapter made their debut, another African-American organization from the institution presented their new line of members as well. The Pi Kappa chapter of JSU's Phi Beta Sigma fraternity introduced the following new members Tuesday night. Donovan Wilson of Sylacauga, Alabama, Michael Maxwell of Anniston, Alabama, Rajan Hudson of Birmingham, Alabama, Kedrick Holder of Birmingham, Alabama, and Christopher Smith of Anniston, Alabama. And we have here live in the studio with us Micah Maxwell and Rajan Hudson, two of those five members who were presented to the university Tuesday night. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us here in our studio. And tell us just in a little bit of time what it was like crossing that threshold, having all those people um, watching you. I'm sure it must be a very nerve wracking experience having hundreds of people watching you make that mark, make that move in your life. Um, I think it was kind of natural because I like being in front of people mm -hmm. and I like I like dancing and stuff all the time. And like through the whole process, I was always the one to keep everybody pumped up, keep everybody focused and just energetic. So I got everybody pumped up before we did it. And it just did good. You know, the, this new line of yours titled The Blue All-Stars, it was presented on the one-year anniversary of the chapter's last new members presentation show in 2012. And that day, uh, five men were also introduced. According to the chapter president of your, of your chapter, Kwame Adams, he says this is the only African-American fraternity on campus to have their new line of members introduced in the spring. And I know that there are plenty of famous men of Phi Beta Sigma, some that we didn't even know. A lot of African Americans uh, who, there are a large influx of them in the NFL, large influx of Sigmas in the NFL, as well as actor Blair Underwood, Morris Chestnut, Morgan Freeman, and interesting enough, Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa, is also a member of Phi Beta Sigma. So what does it mean to you having come from this long line of influential African-American men who are also members of Phi Beta Sigma? It was a, uh, it's a pretty great experience knowing that you're a part of a legacy that keeps on flourishing. It's, it's just something great. Like some of those members we had to uh, find out on our own and just research and just find out some of the stuff they did. 
it makes you feel like it makes you feel encouraged and want to be a part of that legacy and continue something great. You know, African American fraternities have such a, a, a huge level of influence in the black community, especially in regards to civil rights. And, and also today is the 45th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination when he was assassinated at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. So, and, and even he was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. So what does it mean to be a part of now this this greatness that has existed within the African American community for almost a hundred years now. Um, we're we're up 99 years strong. It's pretty great, and like I know, especially Phi Beta Sigma, we've had a like a lot of social action and bigger, better business and programs like that directed towards improving people of minority and people of color. It's been something great. Well, we thank you so much, dude. Thank you, two gentlemen, for uh, and you two ladies for coming on. By the way, the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity was founded on January 9th, 1914, on the campus of Howard University in Washington, D.C. It is 20 minutes past the hour. We'll be right back here on WLJS News at 5.